Hey, welcome back to Learning Self-Reliance. Today we're going to be replacing a thermostat on a 2005 Kia Spectra EX. All right, over here on the side, this is uh, one of our coolant um, lines that go to the uh, radiator. And on the end of it, kind of further over back here, uh, you need to take this off. And under there is the thermostat. So that's what we're going to be doing today. All right, first things first, we're going to take off this uh, engine cover here. This is a number 11 socket. There's only five of these on this engine cover. So right here I've got, you can see these gloves I've got. I got these from Harbor Freight. I think it was 12 bucks for 50 gloves. So it's about 50 cents a pair. But these are much, much stronger than your average gloves average nitrile gloves i really like them because it makes it so you don't have to wash your hands first off but second you i even if i wash my hands i still end up with grease and stuff that's just on there for days it'll take like a week for it to come out and just work its way out so this is certainly much nicer in my opinion there we go i'll just set this aside all right there is the engine exposed so down here unfortunately there's quite a few wires going across uh, so what we're going to need to do is look at these wires and see if there's any um, of these connectors that look the same as other ones. Because we can just take these off and then they'll only plug in one way if they don't happen to match another thing. But that we're not going to get so lucky. This uh, plastic here is getting pretty old. Wow, that's extremely brittle. Not a big deal though. Okay. I'm going to grab a flathead real quick. Let's see if we can just pop this guy off. Come on, there we go. There's that one removed. This other one looks like it's got some sort of spring holding it on. So I'm gonna pop this little spring here off. Let's remove this. I don't like that, that's annoying. There's just more pieces to lose if it's got a spring. Wonder why it's got that. Almost there, come on. The left side doesn't really want to come out. There we go. There we go. Got that one off. And I just dropped the spring. I'm going to take the spring, set it over here on a flat surface so I don't lose it. Okay, I'm going to pop this guy off, even though I don't think this one's quite necessary to be removed. But we'll see here. Okay. Got one more right here. I'm not seeing the tab immediately that can remove it. Could be this on the bottom. I'm not sure. Okay, it looks like I can't really get this uh, clip off here because of the angle of, of this hose. So I'm going to try and take this hose off and it might give me a little bit more room to work with. So I'm going to try and angle it up and hopefully I don't spill out too much fluid on the ground here. Ooh, these clips are hard to get sometimes. You know what? Let me grab one of my cramp-on ones or whatever. Yeah, vice grip. That one's close. All right. There we go. So I like these vice grips here because they grab onto this and then I, I don't have to keep squeezing as it moves it around which is pretty makes this a lot easier if it let go there we go okay this is probably gonna have some coolant leak out here but it's not a big deal all right there we go it looks like this has opened up just a little bit more room underneath here which I think was all I needed Okay, so the, in case anybody gets stuck on this one, the clip is down at the base of it, um, further away from the engine right here, and you just got to push and fiddle with it. It was a big pain, but it eventually came off. And it uh, looks like all these are different lengths, so I'm not going to worry about marking these, so I in case I got them screwed up, they look like they're all different lengths, and I can't accidentally plug one into the wrong spot. Okay, now I need to take off this. Okay, right in here on the outside of the 
hose here is a little shroud and this didn't seem to have any nuts or anything's holding it in so I'm just gonna pull it off here and we'll rotate it away there's just it's holding on with more wires they're just kind of in the way so I can probably just push this down out of the way a bit I do have this cable here that is limiting how far I can go which is really annoying there we go that would give me a bit more room to work with I can just kind of push this down out of the way there we go I think that worked cool okay so I've got this little shroud here out of the way and it looks like I think this uh, thermostat here is only held on by two bolts one in the one in the front here and then one back behind so I'm gonna go ahead and take those off all right it looks like it's a 12 so I've got one of my longer guys here and we can take this off I probably have to just kind of rotate this by hand let me take this off got this air filter in the way over here that's okay I broke it off so I'm just twirling this by hand to have it come off the nut or the nut come off of the bolt here then we got to do the back as well which is going to be a lot more challenging because of this shroud that's in the way. It's right in the way. I have to disconnect a lot more wires if I wanted this to come out further. And they just go everywhere on this engine. Just everywhere. Let me uh, pull this wire off here. So this shroud can move a little bit more freely. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay. Let me get back onto this bolt back here. There we go. Got it. That is a tight fit, but hopefully that's the last nut I gotta remove in this process. Man, it is really tight back here. I hate that. Got to make engines so compressed. All right, I'm just going to have to do this by hand. It's way too tight back there. I'm just twisting it off with my thumb. There you go. Got it. I'll try and get the washer too. Okay. Okay, this guy should just pull free now. I'll give you guys a close-up on this and we'll show you what we got going on behind here. Okay, this is what was connected to the engine. The thermostat is sitting inside of this, uh, but it's also inside the engine. I'll show you that in a sec. So this is what we pulled off. We'll set that aside as well. You know, I'm going to set it up here. Let's get you guys a close-up. All right, sorry about the angle, but right there, you can see the thermostat in the middle of the light there. So I'm going to pull that off and then I'm going to work this washer off with a razor blade. No, that's okay. Let's just let it leak out. All right, so quite a bit more fluid is leaking out here, but that's all right. I'm sure there's a prettier way to do that, but all right, surprisingly the uh, gasket here came off in one piece, so uh, we won't have to uh, scrape too much on this, although I'll probably double check it with a razor blade to make sure it's nice and clean. Here's the thermostat as it's removed as well, so it all worked out pretty good. Okay, got my new thermostat and gasket. Pull out the box, there we go, nice and simple. Uh, so, as you saw before, the uh, dome shaped side here is what's facing outward, so we're gonna put that in. Uh, actually, you know what, let's clean this off first. I've got just a cheap razor here. All right, so I'm just gonna go through here and just try to see if there's any gasket stuck. And it really doesn't look like there's much of any. There's a bit, but just a few specks, really. Yeah, it's slicing into the metal, or it's trying to at least on some of this. 
that seems really nice and clean that's quite nice all right i'm gonna put this thermostat in there fits in nice and snug I'll take my brand new washer here or got i'm gonna take my brand new gasket here pull off this plastic adhesive and then i'll pop out these little spots for the bolts all right i'm going to take the gasket here and put it on directly onto this guy and then we'll slide it on i'm just going to put this guy right on there gently so the gasket doesn't come loose up uh, up uh, not gently enough Okay, there we go. That looks good. Okay, now I'm going to put the washer and nut on. Do the same for the other side. I really hate this bundle of wires. It's impressively annoying. Okay, I'm just going to slowly tighten this up. We'll get it to where it starts to get snug, and then we'll do the other one, and then tighten them down. All right, that's tight. Now it's time for the next one. This one is most of the way tight already. I was able to get it by hand. Okay, get this tight. There we go. We'll put the hose back on. Fill it up with some coolant and give it a shot. All right, take you guys in for a bit more of a close up here. You can see here, this is the uh, new nut that I put on there. You can see the gasket looks nice and flush. Won't be able to show you the other side though. Unfortunately, it's pretty cramped back there, but it's just a mirror of this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook this hose back up and we'll fill it back up. Okay, I'll have to kind of freehand this, try and get this hose back on there we go got my vice clamp here uh, it's just a little bit too big now that it's not on the other one I don't have a larger size of these unfortunately but I'll be able to slide this in get it nice and tight and release the clamp there we go it's really good Let's go ahead and put some coolant back in and give the engine a start. My dad reminded me that I needed to put all these wires back in, so that's good. I'm gonna put this little shroud guy back on, clip all these wires back in. This part should be nice and easy. I've gotta get that little wire clip. Dang it, that stupid O-ring in there. Let me see, okay, I got stuck on this guy. There's a little uh o-ring here that came off it's supposed to go on this side and now it should actually slide on pretty easy yeah there we go so that was my bad let's go ahead and stick these right back in the clips well they're kind of now clips and used to be zip ties got my spring i'm gonna put that you know what? i'm gonna take this off first and kind of get the spring just set on it kind of like that now, once I get into there, you know, that's still not quite tight enough. <laughs> that's too tight. I'll have to pry it back off again. All right, so this last clip here is pretty frustrating. It doesn't have enough room in the top to clip on. So I think I can try to angle it on, which is going to be really difficult. It's just this piece of metal is in the way. I'm not even sure how you're supposed to get this on. Okay, oh, that is a huge pain. So what I did is I got the little bend in it started on this far side over here. And then I got it started over on this side and then I flipped it up and pushed down at the same time. It's just a lot of fiddling. But that guy's back in there. All right, we're gonna put this coolant in here. This is probably about as much as I lost. So I'll need to go grab some more. Yeah, I'll probably need some more than that. That's okay. Let's turn the engine over. All right, that sounds pretty good. Pretty happy with that. I think I'll put it back together, put in some more coolant, and call it good.
Hopefully this can help anybody who needs, uh, who hasn't had done a, done a thermostat before. This is a pretty simple process. Ran into a couple of kinks, but that's just working on cars I found out. So thanks for watching. I was hoping this was helpful for you guys and please remember to like and subscribe.